Tashadele to all our friends and family in Seattle. Um, at this time, according to the Tibetan lunar calendar, uh, we are commemorating the passing into final nirvana of our Guru. His Holiness Jirada Chandrojay Chao Ngawa Kungasunam Tashi Tabijas and Palsampo. And this is very important for us to observe every year. Right after His Holiness passed away, we uh, performed uh, 49 days of elaborate um, ceremonies consisting um, on the, of the Lamdre Guru Puja, uh, the Vajra Gila Dupche, the He Vajra Dupche, uh, the Vajra Yogini Dupche, and the Kuni Dupche. And uh, we, we did that with a group of devoted lamas from uh, India, Europe, America and, and and from the Far East, but many devoted disciples of His Holiness um, in Seattle and from around the world came to join in uh, for at least uh, the the few times we did uh, the Guru Puja at that time and uh, supported the ceremonies in so many ways. The following year. Uh, we established the annual Dupcho focused on Jemisik, Awalukiteshwara, uh, as it's the main practice uh, His Holiness you know, established in Seattle. And it was our express hope that it wouldn't be just the Lamas, but uh, you know, that everyone could fully participate in it. So, I believe uh, a transliteration well, has been available before, but now we are very happy that a fully transli translated book is ready. And so, so this year, everyone can fully participate in this uh, sacred uh, commemorative ceremony. And we are very grateful to all of those you know, who have uh, made this possible. And of course, uh, this year, we need to continue observing the the lockdown at you know at the monastery in Seattle for uh, everyone's uh, optimum safety. But the resident lamas will go ahead with the dupcha and our um, tech wizard John Connolly will live stream it so um, we can all fully participate from home. Now, when we read um, the hierography of a great master, we can see all the teachings they have received, all the teachings they have bestowed and so on. So by reading it, you know, by reading, it's possible that we only really get a sense of uh, greatness of a Lama in terms of quantity, which of course can be deeply inspiring in itself, but to fully appreciate the greatness of a Lama uh, in terms of quality, we have to get a sense of how they live their lives. Uh, you know, how the light of wisdom and compassion was, you know, demonstrated in their activities. So we might get a sense uh, of this from, you know, the stories in this, in a very um, detailed text. Uh, but for those of us who had the amazing good fortune to be uh, in the presence of His Holiness, uh, each of us has, and I'm I'm sure more than um, you know more than a few stories of our direct um, lived experience of our beloved Lamas, you know, infinite qualities. So it's a remembrance of these you know qualities that becomes the focus into the dupture, you know, focus in the dupture uh, like we're doing. Uh, we do this in our monasteries on the anniversaries of our uh, most significant founding and lineage masters, uh, many of whom um, lived many centuries ago, but whose teachings we continue to rely, rely on today. So, as we undertake our dupcha in Seattle, we recollect the body, speech, mind, qualities, and activities 
of his holiness embodied in the form of Jerusalem. So this is uh, such a meaningful uh, practice to do because we're using the deep sense and experience of connection to his holiness to evoke his wisdom and compassion, you know, keeping his teachings and examples alive. So, and there's no better way, no better tribute we could do, no higher way to honor our Lama than to bring more wisdom and bring more compassion into our world through uh, the practice the, of Jerusalem that he taught us. So uh, my heartful thanks to all our friends and family uh, who are uh, making this year's Dupshu possible uh, despite the challenges. Uh, I have no doubt that despite the physical distance, uh, we will all be uh, close together in His Holiness's mandala and this year's commemoration will be more beautiful than ever. Thank you.